Y'all, I am so tired. I would rather go back to sleep. It's currently 5.41, but I'm not gonna go back to sleep. I'm gonna get up, but I would love to go back to sleep right now. Y'all, it is currently like 5.50. I went downstairs and I got my eyes and my bone broth. I'm about to wash my face and then ice it, which is gonna help me wake up. So I went to the gym as you saw and now I am at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna be meal prepping So I have two recipes that I'm gonna do one for lunch one for dinner The only problem is I don't really have meal prep containers I need to get them like i need to order them today because i don't have any so i'm just gonna use whatever containers i have for right now i'm gonna do this recipe that i saw on tiktok we're just gonna go get the food and i am just like really i'm feeling really blessed you guys okay i got baptized on sunday night on the last day of january 2023 i meant <laughs> the last day of 2023 right before midnight <laughs> Can I just say that God has <sighs> Y'all The enemy is really trying it right now And he's not gonna win God has literally changed my life Okay I feel like before I was so lost I was trying to figure out so many things out on my own And trying to make decisions for myself And I was just so lost And now that I've been in my Bible I feel like I have like principles now That I can put in my life Because they're in the Bible And they, I just have like such a sense of peace over me Which I've never had before As you guys know I used to have really bad anxiety But it wasn't my anxiety It was from the enemy And I know I probably sound crazy right now Because I didn't used to really talk about about God and when I tell you guys he has actually changed my life I could never thank him enough and I just really recommend reading your Bible and getting in your word because I just feel so much better I've just learned to be easy on myself and give myself grace 2023 wasn't really the best year for me I was very comfortable I was not productive I was not trying to be my best and I know 2024 has so much in store for me and I just want to continue being my best self and I want you guys to continue being your best self and i just like god has actually changed my life and it wasn't when i was when i was just posting about you know a bible verse or i would go look up i still do this but now i'm actually in my bible but before i would go look up like a positive woman of god bible verse i post it on my story and then i'm like oh yeah i'm a woman of god girl i hate to break it to you but that is not being a woman of god okay <laughs> you can make it look like however you want to make it look like all day long but until you are actually in your word and going to church you don't have to go to church but being around people who feel the same way about about god as you is just different and this year i have a goal to make a friend at church because i don't have any friends at church i just go to church with my brother and i just want to get involved in the church and i just feel like my whole life i felt so lost becoming a woman of god has, is truly amazing and it's hard at the same time like it's not easy by any means because you have to force yourself to do things not that culture tell you to do it's actually the things that culture thinks is weird and like people get so annoyed when people talk about jesus and they're like girl here you go talking about him again or they're like oh she's a jesus freak now sure am sure am and until you know the goodness of god and the goodness of jesus you will never understand and people will look crazy because people are threatened when they hear about jesus because they don't understand i'm not here to make anybody feel like just because you're not a follower of god or anything that you're less than or anything like that it's never that i love all of my supporters so very much but i'm just sharing my experience on how god has changed my life so much like i just i feel brand new i feel like i knew human being spiritually in the sense that like there's a sense of peace there's a sense of guidance and knowing that like no matter what you're going through god is always there with you 
and I just don't even know really how to explain it. And I'm a, I want to say I'm a baby Christian because then I feel like it makes me seem like I'm not worthy to talk about it. But I am very new to really, really walking with God, not just posting a Bible verse, not just posting my Bible and not reading it. Like, no, I am in this thing. Okay. I was so afraid before that people would like judge me and because my content used to be so different and I honestly I just don't care anymore because the only person that I care about judging me is God okay if you guys are seeing a lot of your favorite influencers or celebrities following God and giving their life to Jesus it's for a reason it's not just some cult it's not something for attention like no once you really find God you are obsessed because you realize how good he is and you realize how like in the Bible it's literally like the keys to life like principles that the world doesn't tell you about I don't know I'm just like so on fire for God right now so on fire for Jesus I can't even explain explain it but i'm not gonna go on too much about it i gotta go get this meal prep before i have to get prints from school i love you guys so much i feel like i say that all the time let's go get this food girl <laughs> I went to Trader Joe's, then I went and got Prince. We're about to go into Marshall's so I can get him a good winter coat because he needs one. Because it, it's just, it's just the Mirage airplane. The Mirage airplane coat. Okay, well we're gonna see if they have that one. Okay. Yeah. What? What's a Mirage toy though? With a Mirage toy. Yeah. Were, yeah I'm excited. Were you a good boy today though? Yeah. Yeah. You were. Yeah. You were nice to all your friends? Yeah. I went to Trader Joe's. I got all of the stuff I needed to meal prep and I'm literally so hungry. Then I had to go get cat food, you guys. And I only spent $2 because I had so many coupons I hadn't used. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so yeah, we're about to go into Marshall's and then I'm gonna go home and meal prep and eat because I'm starving. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's. Don't mind the background. I got this shredded cabbage. I got some iceberg lettuce for Princess Tacos. I got six bell peppers, mini cucumbers, zucchini, ooh, a chomp. This is like a jalapeno beef stick, but it's like healthy. Garlic, carrots, grapes, strawberries. Okay, and then I also got Prince some little trail mix things and I'll also be eating these too. I just had one for his lunchbox. I got some organic unsweetened flaked coconut because I love coconut so I kind of want to try this in my smoothie. Chives, tzatziki dip, blueberries, grapes, grapes, jasmine rice, feta cheese. I got this huge bag of apples like it's huge. Bananas. I got Prince some little baby oranges. Baby oranges? Yep. Ew. Olive and basil pesto, ground cumin. And then I also got the cats some food because they go through canned food like I don't know what. I got them the wholehearted, like the canned cat food girl. I don't know. Because Tiki Cat is expensive, okay? So I'm trying to go for something that's still really good for them, but not as expensive considering they eat canned food in the morning and at night. And then I got the Instinct Raw Boost Digestive Health for Chanel. And Juicy will have them too. And then you guys, I went to Marshall's and I got things that I really needed for my fridge. The first thing is this like produce container basket. It has the little like basket thing where you can rinse off the fruits and stuff. And it's airtight. It just keeps them fresh and contained and it organizes them. And this was $12.99. And then I also got a huge one for like my bell peppers. And it this one doesn't have a divider, but there's this one and this one was $7.99 oh my gosh that is not bad at all and then you guys you guys know how I said I had to order the meal prep containers well I got some of them which I could use this for probably not like meal prep that I have to divide but I got three glass airtight containers for $9.99 with pink lid from Marshalls like what I needed those so bad and I got two of those because duh if you meal prep and you have one cheat day you have six containers oh yeah and then I also got this um garlic mincer because I hate cutting garlic. It's so annoying. So this is gonna be perfect. This was $5.99. Okay, and then this was the second bag that I got. And I got Prince this jacket because he really needed the winter coat, you guys. This Nike jacket. It's super cozy and will keep him warm. This was on sale for $32. And then I got some popcorn. 
This is salted caramel popcorn. It sounds so good. It's like a little treat. It's $4.99. Then I also got Prince. I got Prince this little Air Jordan set. He says he wants to wear this to basketball practice. I said, okay. And then I got him some more socks and these were $9.99. This was $19.99, but it comes with a shirt and pants. Okay guys, so I am going to put all of this away. I am going to meal prep and this is gonna take me a little while. So after I put it away, I'm gonna come back and show you guys what the meal prep looks like. Cause I meal prepped like four or five years ago. I haven't done it since. So yeah, we're gonna do this freaking thing. Okay y'all. I have successfully kind of meal prepped. That took me about three hours, I wanna say. But now I don't have to cook for the rest of the week. So honestly, I would say it is so worth it. Let me show you guys what I made. Okay, so the first thing is burrito filling. There's rice, black beans, ground chicken, onions, garlic, corn, roasted bell peppers, roasted zucchini, and it's in this huge pan. So I can just take it out. I can either make like taco bowls with it or actually put it in a burrito or whatever. And then over here, I have pesto pasta, which mine didn't really turn out like hers, but I don't know. I'll probably add some chili onion crunch whenever I eat it because I was not really a fan of the basil pesto can't lie At least now I have these at least I didn't put too much pesto So now I can still like add whatever sauce I want that took so much longer than I thought it was going to but it's gonna be so Freaking worth it Drop top on the motorway all along on the motorway I've been waiting a whole day finding myself so impatient Hey you guys, that is going to be the end of this video. If you made it all the way to the end, go ahead and leave a little pink bow down below. That just lets me know that you made it all the way to the end of the video, girl, which means that you are a real one. Make sure you guys comment down below what other videos you guys want to see from me. And also, don't forget to subscribe, girl. If you've made it all the way to the end, why? Just, just subscribe, okay? We're already friends. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!